<laughs> oh yeah, we're back in, and we are about to go to the restaurant. Now I'm tentative. I'm pretty sure this will just be a cutscene, but part of me is worried that I might have to fight something, and I still only have bollocks and shambles, which is a good, a good summary of the uh, of our current position. So I defeated the ice gym, and this means I can go and catch. I just fly straight to the wild. I don't know why I keep flying to the town and then going to the wild. I can go and catch another wild Pokemon. Now, I have heard from my... Uh, oh, uh, never mind, there's a Gigantamax one right there. Is that in an area that I... The other thing is as well, is there's numerous fly points in the wild, so there's literally no point me riding my bike all the way over. I could just... I could just fly there. Question is, is this an area that I haven't caught anything in yet? I th think. See, the problem I have here is that I haven't actually kept track. Uh, ah, annoyingly, I think that's in the rolling fields area. So, I don't think I can catch that one, which is annoying. But what I've heard from my good friend is that if I do this uh, not that if I do this mystery gift and then get what the wild area news da -da, da -da 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 -da. click to the wild area time to go look at those in those Pokemon dens so that should Okay, maybe that only works when I don't have any Pokemon Dens active. Apparently that's supposed to refresh my Pokemon Dens. Uh, I thought you were a dude. Nope, stop talking to me. Um, I guess that isn't the case. Right, what we'll do then. So I don't think I've caught anything... Where are we at the moment? We are in the... Motorstoke Riverbank. I don't think we've caught anything here. My, my memory's really... I really should have made a better note of where I have caught stuff and where I haven't. But I don't think I have. So I'm just going to go and do... And get through this long grass. There we go. I'm just going to go and catch this, whatever this is. That seems like a good random way. So let's just have a look. Oh, I think that's... Right, so I think this is Gigantamax Snorlax. Which is interesting that it's not like the big weird spewing one. Um, interesting. This might be... troublesome. Uh, okay, do I have... I am going to fight you. I just want to check something first. I think I used my only heavy ball up, didn't I? Yeah. Alright, well I do have an ultra ball still, so... Alright. We'll try it. I mean, okay, sure. Get a Gigantamax Snorlax, maybe? Ah, 30 seconds left. I've got one guy. Do I risk? Do I risk or do I quit and try and search again? And try and get a full team. It's a four-star raid. But then <clears throat> the three-star raids haven't been giving us a huge amount of problem. And he could be like a level 100 Toxitricity, so... Ah, <sighs> crap. I'm trying to think of the phrase. What is it? Um... Fools tread where... What? No, that's not the one. Um, all, all's fair in love war. That's not it. Um, fortune favours the stupid. That's it. Now, I don't know whether I want to talk... Do I want a Dynamax or do I want to let Toxicricity? I think I'm going to let him Dynamax in case he's stronger.
But we're all faster than him at least, so that's something. Okay, well he killed his Toxicity in one hit, so I'm gonna I'm gonna Dynamax. Um Yeah. I mean, it's good that you can Dynamax now, but, um... Oh, I, I now can. Okay, I guess I missed my window. Right, right. Well, I will, won't Dynamax then. I will wait for him to come back and then Dynamax. He cheered for us. Thanks. I like your hoodie. I used to have one of those when I was happier. I do like um, Gigantamax Snorlax. And, uh, no! In that he's just, uh, he's just literally at like a Mario Galaxy level now. <laughs> right. You, someone Dynamax, I'm gonna heal. Um, I know this doesn't mean much to you guys, but I, I can't afford to die. Sorry. I know we're on a time limit of 10 turns, but you know, my dog being alive is more important to me. <coughs> Alright, so we've got him at, I think, half health or just above half health. No one wants to Dynamax. I mean, I guess it's, it's possible that he can't, but... Uh, I mean, no, possible that no one can. And uh, maybe the NPCs don't. Oh, leave my bollocks alone. Alright, i got another turn before I can Dynamax. I'm going to heal again. Uh, 16.25. Uh, Super Potion will work out to do this one. Again, I fully appreciate there is an actual human somewhere in the world watching me going, Why do you keep healing? Instead of, I mean, fellas, he used a hyper potion himself, so... I suppose he, he appreciates the fact that if, if we... If we... Faint four times, it is game over, so keeping us alive, but there is a strategy to that. Replenish? Oh, I thought he was going to heal himself. He did kill Solrock. We're down to two feints now. I think that only gives us two more. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, I thought that was going to be on everyone, but no, we're good. Alright, screw it. I'm, I'm Gigantamaxing. And Max Lightning! Hopefully the extra HP from uh, Gigantamaxing will give me the... Uh... Oh, it's not as much as I would have liked. So I might need a Hyper Potion him anyway after this. See how close we are to beating him. If we're close enough to beat him that I think we can. We will. Okay, yeah, I don't think we'll just beat him. I think we might, I mean we might even just beat him this round, in fairness, because Horlucha's flying press super Yeah, okay, there we go. That yeah, yeah, good. I'm glad I turned into a giant dog. Right! Moment of truth, can I actually catch it? Um, I've heard catch rates on Gigantamax Pokemon are quite low, so this might have been a mistake, but... Ultra Ball! Go! Please, I really need a third, and the Gigantamax Pokemon to be cool. Come on, baby Snorlax. Well, that's a Munchlax. Come on, Snorlax. One! Two! Three! Kachik! Yay! 
Oh, I got a Gigantamax Snorlax. Hells to the yeah. Oh. I, I am a happy lad. I am a happy lad. Look at that. Snorlax's data will be added to the Pokedex. This Pokemon's stomach is so strong, even eating moldy or rotten food will not affect it. I would! And now, I would have used Nosh. Nosh would have been quite a good nickname for, for Snorlax. I could... He's not really a mad lad. I was thinking I could call him mad lad, but he's not that mad. He's not that mad. He's more... Oh, what is he? Okay, then no, this is perfect. This is perfect. He's Dosser. He's my Dosser. Yeah! Oh. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Oh, he's level 50. He's already leveled. Look at that. I could probably then use the candy I got from killing, fighting him. Not killing him. I suppose I did kill him. Uh, to level up Shambles a couple of bits. As much as I dislike Shambles, be just be on account of that he killed my uh, my my lovely Bodger. Uh, was it Bodger he killed? Bodger or Dodgy? He killed someone. Um, he does have Ice Beam, which is going to be very useful against Raihan. Ooh, soak. Isn't that what Mormons do? User shoots a torrent of water on the target, changes the target's type to water. Do you know that would quite work quite well with with bollocks. <laughs> Weird sentences though, isn't it? Um, yeah, tell you what, let's get rid of Bullet Seed. That would be quite useful. If I fight a type that I don't have a, a natural counter against, I could just turn it to water, and then switch to bollocks and electrocute it. Champion. Alright. We've got some berries. Let's do, let's do our, our, our one go at curry. And then we'll crack on with the story. So I'm just going to go nice and quick. Uh, so what have we got? I'm going to try potatoes again. I'm going to try potatoes again. Uh, use that. Oh, in fairness, I got exactly ten berries. So, yeah, here we go. Yes. Okay. This is it. This is where we... This is where we get up above Copper Raja class. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. So. Flap. Get the heat up. Come on. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this fast or deep. So that's the heat I need it, because that's when the sparks start coming off of it. But I also need to keep it at that heat. And then this is the speed. Yeah, we go. Let's do this. Do this for the 10, 15 seconds it needs me to. I just gotta nail the light green. Oh, right in the middle. Come on! Come on! Come on, it's practically crackling! With with positive energy. Spicy plenty of potato curry. And look at this stars coming off of the picture here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> ah, damn it. Damn you, Copperaja. I will beat you. I will beat you. I will become the cup master of curry. I will. Oh, dang it. All right, let's just let's go to town. Oh, what well, um sorry, I should probably check what moves. The so Snorlax is a uh definitely a physical attacker. Well, the special defense is higher than his regular defense. Okay. Body slam, high horsepower, brick break and bulldoze. That's that's a good that's a good move set. I think. What does high horsepower do? Fiercely attacks the target using its entire body. Uh, bulldoze. Speed stat. Stomping on the ground. Brick break. Yeah, it's got a fighting move. That's good. Um.
100% accuracy and lower the speed. Or do you want that power? Let's see if I've got anything before I, I thought to figure out which roof to get rid of. Let's see if I've actually got anything to replace. We've got a couple of... Uh... Oh, it can learn icy wind, which is interesting. Um... No, so those are all rubbish. Liquidation... Rock Tomb would be useful against flying types. Uh, power 60, accuracy 95. Yeah, that would be quite useful. Uh, you know Brick Break already. Wild Charge. Yeah, I remember that Snorlax knows quite, can, can learn quite a few different, different things, can't it? Just randomly. Which makes it really scary to fight. Because it can just pop out. I, I, in hindsight, I, I shouldn't have fought it, really. Heat crash. The more the user outweighs the target, the greater the move's power. That is a Snorlax move. That is a Snorlax move. That is absolutely a Snorlax move. Now... Let's go for the higher power one. 95 accuracy is good enough. Good enough. There we go. I've got two more to replace it. If I suddenly, if I lose one. I don't know. I don't know what I was going with there. Um, right. Oh, you need an item to hold as well. I think I have a leftover somewhere that you can have. Um, oh, I could use the wide lens to boost that. I should probably give these... Oh, okay. I was gonna give him. I thought I, I thought it was weird. It only gave him three, two, because I did try and give him all three. But I guess he must have been maybe because he's a Gigantamax Pokemon. He comes on level eight already. I don't know. Um, do I have any? Yeah, we go. I have a leftovers. That's a Snorlax type item. I think that's how where you get leftovers in some games. Right. I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling positive. So we're going not to Holbury, to Chichester. And we're going to go and meet... I keep thinking... I, rock... Rock... Uh, rock Sam? Do you know, I've been, I've been playing this game for over 20 hours now. I should remember the names of all the characters. In fact, she's the only one whose name I really struggle with. Sonia. I remembered it before it came up, so it counts. Got that gym badge, Jack lad. Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. I've been trying to find more about the Darkest Day and the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Wait, hold on. No way. What's this? I saw it earlier. I could have mentioned it, but I thought it'd be funnier not to. A fifth tapestry! The heroes look sad! Where are the sword and shield? I mean, there's a gravestone behind them with the sword and shield on. What was the meaning of this picture? Some kind of seal? You think so? I guess it could be that they were sealed away, or maybe they've gone into some kind of sleep. Based on those statues we saw back in Stow on Side, the sword and shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right. That's my take on it, at least. You remember the Pokemon we met that day? Do you think it could have been one of them? Either the sword or the shield Pokemon? Well, it didn't have a sword, did it, Hop? So it's blatantly the shield Pokemon, you idiot. You met them? Yeah, again, I could have mentioned this at any point, but I decided not to. I thought it'd be funnier. Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right, Jack lad? I really don't. Sorry, Hop, you're you're insane. You're I don't know what you're talking about, you're mad. Not so sharp when it's not about battle, huh? Don't you remember that mad Pokemon we ran into in the fog that day? Don't you think that could have been it? Oh that's right. You lot have been in the slumbering wild uh wield. No, it is called Wield, so um I have been corrected on the spell on the pronunciation of this. Um it, I thought it was wild, but it's slumbering wield. Apparently it's an old word for a field. There you go. I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be so much fun! You've got to tell me more! 
How about we discuss this over a meal? Go on, what do you want to eat? Let's get our orders in. Fade to black. I bet they're not actually going to have us show the meal. Yep, there we go. And just cut back to us walking around. Too difficult to animate us sitting at a table and eating food. That's a whole, like, you know, few days of animation. Don't bother. Just fade to black. That's what you need to do. Anytime, anytime anyone does anything, fade to black and imply it. Fascinating. Alright, the next thing to do now that we're done eating is to have a look around Churchester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. I've already done this. Can I leave? I've got... Well, fairness, I can't go into my bike until my bike gets upgraded, so... So, let's just get this over with. Let's get this plot done with. The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. Hmm... Who exactly were the heroes that bathed here? I think I'll have to look into that. You two met in a mysterious met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering wield. Perhaps you two can become new heroes. What, like some hero waving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one. Though I guess I'd fancy a sword if I had to take my pick. Curious. I wonder if I play sword. Does he say he'd fancy a shield? Hmm. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? My son, I'm switching between Sonya and Hop, and my Sonya voice is becoming a Hop voice. Why don't we show her, Jack lad? Think we can pull off a real heroic battle? Give me a, uh, oh no, give me a minute. It just lets me go away, doesn't it? Absolutely. Sonya treated us to a great meal after that curry. I feel like I've got the energy to wrestle up aware. I don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might as well just see what you can do. I'll heal out your Pokemon for you, Jack lad. So give it your best. Thanks. Hang on, what if you healed out my Pokemon? Why did you give me the option to go away and heal my Pokemon? Whatever. Time for a little exhibition match starring the future champion. Yes, that is me. You are not wrong, Hop. I am here. Go on then, throw your bloody ball out. Dub wall. Oh, you evolved the Wooloo and that's what it evolves into. That's cool. I'm counting on you, partner. Uh, so I should switch to Snorlax, but I'm not going to. Because I'm still 10 levels higher than this thing, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh, it's annoying that that's, that wasn't quite enough to finish it off. Oh, dang it! Alright, that's fine. This will get it most of the way. And then I can Thunderbolt at the rest. There we go. Bye, Dub Wolf. I liked your previous form better. Sorry. But you know, you've, you've evolved now and there's no one doing that. You're stuck forever. What a terrible existence. Snorlax. I will switch my Pokemon to Snorlax. Go, Dossa! Because you might have fighting moves, which are super effective against me, but I also have fighting moves super effective against you. And I'm 11 levels higher, so... This should be pretty straightforward. Now that's a proper move! Don't have to comment every time I use a super effective move, alright? Oh, don't paralyze me. Cock. At least my leftovers is uh, offsetting the hail. I'm gonna break break in because you might heal. No, oh, okay. This is gonna body slam. I really need a full to get get full restores because be, not being able to heal status effects and heal at the same time is irksome.
Buffeted by the hail. Eat some leftovers. Boom. Uh, send that in Teleon. Yeah. So, uh, Bollock's gonna have this one. Now, should I heal? I'm super effective and I am nine levels higher. I should be able to one hit KO this. That's the Pokemon you've had the longest, that your bond with it is the strongest, and it died straight away. What does that tell you? It tells you that I'm overleveled slightly, but whatever. Uh, Pink Urchin. I don't know what that is, so no. Keep my current and I'll just heal. Oh, is that the evolved form of the cute little thing? Or is it a... Maybe it's a gender difference, or possibly just a different form? You never know. You never know. Uh... 70, 36. Yeah, you can have a lemonade. Why not? Haha! <laughs> Heavens. I think the hail did more damage than your bubble beam. I hope you're water ice. Oh! Interesting. Interesting. Speed fell. Attack Rose. Defense Rose. I'm buffeted by the hail. Oh no, he's not. Oh, he is. Okay. Alright, so obviously those spikes make him immune. So I'm going to crunch you instead. Yeah. I feel like that. Clever. Yeah. Oh, this is lightning enemy. Are you keep using the? I use a lightning attack on him. Ignore the fact that I do that constantly, but I don't. He's the CPU character. He should know better. Anyway, that died. Corviknight. Uh. I could switch to Octillery and let him have a shot. Because he can use Ice Beam. Uh, and he wouldn't be... Yeah, go on, Shambles. Start earning your keep. Think you got me cornered? Not even close. I'll be the greatest when I steal this win back. It's cool that your your bird survived long enough to become a Corviknight. Um. Oh, Ice Beam's only effective. Interesting. I guess maybe Steel is resistant to ice? Or is he dark? I don't know if he's dark flying. Oh, he might not even be flying at all. He might be dark steel, despite the fact he's clearly flying. No, he must be flying. He must be flying steel. And steel must be resistant to ice. Um, I'm gonna play it safe and heal. Nope, nope, wrong one. That one. Just to be on the safe side. Like I said, I really need shambles for the dragon gym, so... As much as I hate him, i got to keep him alive. Although if he keeps lowering... Yeah, I was going to say, if he keeps lowering my speed, he might just die from the hail. Or whatever, we'll, we'll scald him. Yeah. I mean, even if this attack doesn't hit him, the hail is going to kill him. He's decided, no, I'm going to lower his speed. i got a plan. i got a plan. I don't know what that plan was. But he had one. Hey. 
I still can't even beat you, my true rival. But I think I'm starting to see the light. Oh, you're dying. Good. No, oh, stop you fighting me. Thanks, you two gave me a right proper battle. At the rate you two are going, even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into things in the slumbering wheels. I'm going to keep challenging that gym. Then once I get that gym badge, I'll be heading for Route 9 to take on Spike Muth next. Right, bye, Hop. Seems like you finally shook off that gloom. Leon would worry if Hop wasn't feeling all right. As his rival, you wouldn't like it either, right? See ya. I like that it doesn't give me the option to choose. Eh, you know, it doesn't even give me the option to answer that one. It's just like, couldn't care less. Oh, what's that thing called? A snom. Oh. Look, look at that adorable little snom. Electrocute it. Alright, bye snom. You're adorable, but you must die for me. What is called snom?